the driver's side edition of the trailer. And what we have is the, the nail kit, the tear out kit. There's some stuff back behind here. Down here we have um, a grinder, our mixer, a uh, wet saw. This is our um, Schluter kit, light kit, our um, lipid system. Over here we have an open box, a couple of um, couple of little ladders, our grout kit, and our um, compressor. Go ahead and yank the nail kit. In the nail kit, we have a hose. Carry a 18 gauge nailer, 18 gauge stapler, our, uh, our roofing gun that we use for uh, Duroc, and then a 23 gauge. One of the things with the use of our uh, with the use of our um, oh, here's the tear out kit. Tear out kit's pretty simple. Little Hilti DCG 500. Um, another Bosch Bulldog. I like to use these for most of our residential tear out because they they hit faster but softer and I don't jar the houses as much and so where I'm on wood structure that's what I like then we use this uh, this is a um, rigid worm drive that I've taped one and then I have a, a dust port right here and we just hook it to those uh, s26s and uh, it works really well once again you know the idea of um, Kaizen is everything is easily right within place. That's a full kit. And what we do there is we just stack those right on the, uh, just right down, just below, it's fine. We just stack those right on our, our mag liners. And in a couple of trips, we can have this full set. You see how these two are here? We can take the other two and literally have all four of these in, in one trip. All right, next thing we have here is our uh, our even stock mixer and then this is one of the things that I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about this is our uh, DeWalt grinder and it has a uh, an Ermator shroud that um, I really like a lot one of the things that we use this for, you can see it's got wood on it, is we use this to denail and destaple. So when you're tearing out other underlayments, you just go over this. One of the things you want with this particular one is you want to use these kinds of rings and not turbo rings. And hold on just a second, I'm going to walk over here and find what I did with one of my other shrouds. If I can find that, it'd be awesome. Where is it? See, if I was actually prepared when I made videos, my production quality would be a lot better. Okay, this is a Dust Eater Shroud from CDC LaRue. This is about $140, $150 shroud. Um, the way it works is it's taking air in from these holes and bringing it in through the shroud. And I find with this one here, I do not like it as much as the Ermator. The Ermator is about $180 shroud. The only advantage to this over this is this likes to kick on staples a lot more so than this one does. But if I were to buy another shroud, it'd be another one of these, and I plan on actually doing that. Um, this is the big grinder from DeWalt. It's the, what is it, 28499. It's one of the ones that um, you, know, you can flip it through. It says it has five and a, and a half in, um, horsepower max. I don't know what that means exactly, other than the fact that this cord it, it is monstrous, and um, my guess is it'll pull over 20 amps, because I'll bust 20 amp breakers with this grinder often. Okay, next thing, Ramondi leveling system. 
bucket of clips. I just keep these kinds of things here. Um, you know, split them apart like that. One for clips, one for wedges. Um, I end up buying my wedges by the 2000. Um, there's a place um, in all, on Alibaba where you can, with a minimum order of 10,000, pick them up dirt cheap. That's kind of the plan. Uh, second row, Bricolina. Bricolina is a small um, Italian tile saw. I know that uh, they're now selling them under the brand name Great White. Great little saw for uh, when you need one. I do not like carrying my wet saw around. Um, I find for the most part I don't need one. But when I need to make a little cut, I do. Okay, here's my light kit. Um, it also double duties as my... Uh, my um, plug or my uh, sausage and, and uh, quart tube holder for my uh, Milwaukee gun. But I like this little, it's a rigid kit or it's a rigid light set and it works real nice. Every once in a while you need new construction. That works just great. Um, next thing, a couple more bar walls. Um, great systems. Then in here, just a couple of these little little ladders. You can see the other one sits right under there. Um, and then finally, the Roll Air Big 20. This one here will do uh, six, over six uh, CFM a minute at 90. Um, and when Micah is uh, putting down a Duroc, that thing can barely keep up. I think that is about all we have. Of the oh, one last thing, and that is the Schluter box. You slide the Schluter box corners. Um, this is a reinforcing fabric for brushable trowelable membranes. A little iron that I, I like to crease my curdy band. Scissors. And then here is a, uh, a waste of money now that um, Schluter has shifted how they warranty uh, their heated floors. You no longer need your Mago meter. So anyway, that's it. Thank you so much.